Check Guys, this out. Look, he's... Yeah. Chip is coming out of the closet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm so proud of him. Woo! Proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you, man. All right. Thanks. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another special episode of Just Go With It. My name Hi. is Grizzly. I'm the DM, and these are the only. Hi. I'm busy. First today. I'm busy. And I Charlie's. and I play Chip. <laughs> Charlie's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he quit. Stop crying. He quit. He Wipe those tears back. off of your face. Just because Charlie hates us and thinks that we're stupid oh. and doesn't like how Condi <laughs> smells, seriously, bro, take a shower. Doesn't mean we stop here. Culture. Doesn't mean we stop here. YouTube video in a year, and he's he's got so much of a fucking clout now. He doesn't need us. <laughs> we can move on from this, okay? <laughs> we'll no, but, prevail. But, but seriously, Charlie is, is very ill, so let's uh Oh yeah, no. Let's he's, let's yeah. wish him some Sick. I mean hopefully by the time this goes live he will be better. Yeah. Otherwise we're gonna have problems, guys. He's on Whoa. he's on kind of a little bit of a streak right now. This is his second illness in one week, so Yeah. And you know what I mean? You know, three strikes and you're out, right? Oh Jesus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well let's put uh let's let's see some love for, for, for Charlie in the in the comment section. Well, I, guess just we'll, roll. I guess we'll I guess we'll have to have to just just roll with it. I guess we'll it. have to roll just it with. Where we last left off. We begin our story. <laughs> we begin our session on Featherbrook Island. Featherbrook Island. The home of Jay Farron and her family. The home to Jay Farron, that's that's my code. Who? This island. What? When viewed from a top-down view, resembles a feather, with this smaller patch of land acting as the stem to a curved larger landmass. The smaller piece of land, home to Kiwi Village, a sort of humble, uh, very minimal and simple, quaint, small village town with dirt roads and rolling green hills, uh, small houses made of just concrete and red uh, roof shingles, and uh, a specific building that we'll come back to with the east of this small um, village uh, inclining into steep uh, forest covered cliffs known as the bluffs and the larger curved mass home to the capital of feather island quill kingdom governed and owned by the quill family as a council but as we zero in um, pun intended. On um, <laughs> on a specific and special building here in Kiwi Village, we find ourselves at a tavern or bar, not shaped uh, in its normal rectangular fashion, but actually the form is built and structured like the head of an eagle, where you have to walk up inclined steps into the beak and enter into this bowl-shaped interior, warm, wooden, and filled with a, a, a mass of people, all different kinds of, of walks of life, with uh, bustling uh, voices and energetic uh, faces and, and, and emotions, the smell here of, of ale and, and grog and, and all kinds of different alcohol, but also really warm, delicious country-style food, uh, or southern country-style food with like fried chicken and etc. And a cacophony of bird noises. Just a, a plethora of different birds flying around all in the vicinity, uh, each of them kind of like, not exactly screeching, but and uh, seeming to be communicating with a woman behind the bar who is making these like small clicking or bird noises in response as these birds sort of go around and fly to each customer and take their orders. The woman who these birds are communicating with is very similar to a specific waitress and barmaid who is can't talk to birds. 
currently Jay Farron walking around in a in a bit of a bit more um, kind of this like this like over uh, uh, uniform sort of thing. Not it's not really anything special. Maybe an apron. It's kind of up to you. You can wear whatever you want because you're the daughter of that yeah. of the place. Mom, here. mom, where do the fish and chips go? Uh, just give me one. Give me give me one second, darling. <laughs> and <laughs> this area we find ourselves at Farron's Eagle Den, otherwise known as the Eagle Den or just the Den. Uh, your mother, Melania Farron, or May. She's human with long white hair. Uh, uh, birds kind of like fly and, and then sit on her finger as she uh, puts it up to her ear and then they fly off again. She has this long white hair, the bangs tied back, uh, braided into a cord down the middle of her back. A beautiful face, but a bit more slender than yours. Resembling a lot of uh, the same features, though you do take some from uh, the other side of the family as well. She has bluish gray eyes. She's wearing this like sleeved, almost like felt or velvet maroon dress that exposes a bit of the chest uh, and the shoulders, but nothing like too revealing. Um, very elegant, very form fitting. And um, she is currently in conversation, not only with the birds, but with a unique young scruffy boy, brown hair, uh, exploiting just talking her ear off and as you ask for where the fish and chips go she goes jay can you believe this boy over here by the bar is talking about your uncle dre uncle dre no oh, sashi watch where you're flying and that's when the uncle dre raised I, I up his my... arm and arlen james himself mm -hmm. from the black rose pirates cut the arm off just like that and that's how jargon the octopus <laughs> was slain Okay, so this guy's full of shit, <laughs> right? Like, he's he's lying to us right now. That's funny. Well, Who are you? Either way, I mean, very good storytelling. Would you mind keeping him company for a second? I need to I need to go to the back and, and grab the rest of the orders. Yeah, I look around at the overwhelmingly busy... Hey! I'm sure the birds can handle it. Stay off the tables! She yells at this big, uh, this big guy who, like, stands up, kind of like this dwarven uh, guy. Who is like like cheering like two two ales and clinging them together and then downing it by himself and then as soon as she yells he just like a kid getting in trouble in kindergarten just <laughs> like falls off the table and back in the chair he goes sorry me uh, and then she kind um, of like disappears into the back uh, behind the bar for a second. Jay Jay vaults over to the over like the bar stand and gets on the other side from Chip and kind of leans mm -hmm. down one elbow on the table. <laughs> so uh. what? <laughs> You say you're with the Black Rose Pirates. As as I'm telling this story, I I, I assume the people that I'm telling it to are just uninterested. At, like, what would, <laughs> no one is listening to you, but her uh, Jay's mother did listen for a while. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was. Are you uh, a fan? And I kind of like <laughs> lean back <laughs> over the chair and um, got a, like a a grin. A uh, I do sign autographs, but. Cost no, you. no, nothing, nothing that crazy. I mean, no, Dre, you're not a fan. Dre was kind of the black sheep. He was on that ship. Dre Farron? Yeah, Dre. He's Farron. one of the best. Yeah. My uncle. Yeah. Your, your uncle? It's at this point, Chip. You <laughs> realize you have this like little flashback of you walking into this tavern, just having docked your uh, the big chipper. Here, only like half an hour ago, you remember looking up at the sign and saying Ferenc Eagle Den, and you completely ignoring it. <laughs> Did you not read the sign? Hang, hang, hang on, one, se one second, one second. I run back outside, look at the sign, and I come back down and I sit down with my eyes wide. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, uh, what, what, did, what did you say your name was? <laughs> yeah, my name is Jay, Jay Farron. Jay, Jay Farron. Yeah. Jay, Dre, is that like a thing? Is that like yeah, a- Yeah, actually, um, my, my mom's ma name is May. Uh, father's name is Jason. We have a Tay. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot of A's. A lot of rhyming going on in, in the, yeah, yeah. the Farron fan. Well, that's, that's cool. What are you, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, what do you think I'm doing here? She's like washing a, a cup mm. of what used to be ale at this point and like get, putting it back out. I'm helping my mom with the bar. <laughs> a little busy today. Uh, yeah, I can... I can see that, but... I don't know, I guess I just assumed the, the niece of 
Dre Farron had a little more to her than <laughs> bartending. Two of the back doors behind you, your mom swings them out as she's carrying like six platters uh, all the way down her shoulders on her hands. And she goes, Jay, be a, be a dear, please, and, uh, and take half of these and over there to the table six and seven. Hey, six and then okay, she, um, like, she splits I off. I grab one and, oh. and run off quickly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, can, I, can I just grab the other drinks and help her and walk along with her? With Jay? Um, sure. Yeah. 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 So and I'm just walking and like taking these drinks with you. Don't don't so, spill those. I'm not, I'm fine, says, I'm, I'm fine. You're not I'm getting paid for that, boy. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I'll get what I'm looking for. Uh, so you said you that's your that's your uncle. Uh, you're so that's like a close uncle, like a distant uncle, like you oh, don't know each other, like. Oh, me and me and Dre, we went way back. He was he's my favorite uncle. Um, not that I've seen him in God knows how long. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure he's out there. Uh, have you have you looked for him anywhere? Have you seen him? No, I've been around? working in this bar. I've been working this bar in training for the last three years. Thank you. Why? Oh. What do you? What businesses have you? Oh, anyways? nothing, nothing, nothing. I go. I walk up and set the. Are we setting ales on a table? Yes. Yeah. Uh, he, here you go. Food Thank stuff. you so much. We do accept tips. By no, the way, that one here. Goes over the um. So if <laughs> you're, table. you know, you gotta kind of gotta help out. <laughs> Wait a second. Um, I didn't. I didn't order this. Hey, what is your then? name? I'm kind of <laughs> in the middle of something here. I'm working. Uh, yeah, but Jesus but like Christ. I said, you did order this, and um, we do accept tips. So I'm so I sorry, mean, sir. This is my my deception check. He doesn't work here. He doesn't work here. <laughs> okay, let me roll deception. Actually, I believe you did order this. <laughs> uh, that's a 19. Oh goodness! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Maybe you're a little drunk. You forgot. But he looks up to you. He's got this kind of like rosy cheek face, uh, uh, like pale skin. It's just a, a kind of a, a more gruffy human, not necessarily like super built. Uh, but he goes, "I guess you're right." And then he like slams it on the on the on the on the table and just starts like, chugging it back. Um, and the guy and the guys that he's with kind of just like posse cheers. They erupt in a cheer. Uh, and and Jay just and you guys just kind of go off to the next table as you're mm -hmm. sort of kind of maneuvering and and. Dodging people as you go. She's very talented at this. Like it's almost uh, like, like the way she walks, is reminiscent of how your own footwork works. In the sense where like she is effortlessly like dodging multitudes of people while holding like different platters and drinks. <clears throat> Not a single drop spilled. Whoa, you're pretty good at that. Um, well, I've been I... doing this most of my life. Thank you. Oh, I, I'm Chip. I don't know if you've heard of me. I, I, I'm kind of the captain of my own ship. I've uh, it's never heard Chipper. of you in my life. It's out at the port. It's the the expensive one out there. <laughs> you're uh, you're a captain. You don't look like navy. Not navy? <laughs> oh no 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 no. <laughs> what are you? Go, a go and go and set down the the mugs on just a table that's definitely the wrong table. Uh, and I take one and I take a sip and I'm leaning on the table. <laughs> You didn't pay for that. Maybe. <laughs> no, you didn't pay for that. You, I, you. <laughs> this is not a maybe. I set, I set down the, the, the cup. <laughs> didn't pay for what? No, I mean maybe I'm, uh, P I R, A, T E pirate pirate. Maybe I'm a pirate. <laughs> you? <laughs> You're a pirate. Yeah, maybe I, I learned okay, from the best. So who in here is part of your crew, then, huh? Pasha. Uh, Kind of in between crews right now, <laughs> um, but it, you, the last ones just couldn't. I couldn't keep up. But I'm looking for a new crew. Actually, uh, you wouldn't happen to know anybody, right? Oh, in this tavern, <laughs> unlikely to find somebody, buddy. Wow. You wouldn't know. And frankly, that, I'm not uh, even sure. Hmm? Um, before you continue, you do know that the the Kiwi Village. And uh, the Eagles Den, by association, it is at this time neutral soil, mostly because the of the physical separation from the the actual kingdom. The capital of Featherbrook Island is, you know, well protected and guarded by the navy with a lot of mm. government homes. So th uh, your this father has a home in the capital, but this island, this village, is where your mother was born and grew up. Is where she's in this tavern for her whole life. You know, worked here, grew up here, blah blah blah. Um, so 
she refuses to leave despite having you know like a home and the capital but with that um your father doesn't come to the tavern much or to the village especially since he's always at work anyways at the moment Working. but since it's neutral soil i mean a lot of pirates come here when they stop by the island some good some bad there's cases of you know rowdiness where shit has to get handled um <laughs> but for the most part you know they've always pay really well so she doesn't like Especially with, you know, Dre being part of you guys' family, she doesn't yeah. uh, uh, discriminate against occupations and stuff, so you would know that. Yeah, I'm, I'm eyeing Chip up and down at this point. Mm -hmm. like, frankly, <laughs> I don't believe you could be a pirate if you tried. You don't look like you got the chops for it, buddy. Whoa. I kind of like hit him on the cheek a little bit. Stop. What, you, what makes you think I'm not a pirate? There are a lot of pirates in here. And I look around, there's like some real gruff and tough guys, like... <laughs> Two guys boys. with wooden legs. <laughs> yeah, but you see none of these guys. And I put my arm around her shoulder and kind of point out at the rest of them. Have been on the black... With the Black Rose Pirates. Okay, well, to be frank, I'm not sure if I entirely believe you on that one, Chief. Prove okay, it. Okay, okay, what can I do to prove it to you? Um... Um... Something about, oh, oh, okay. So, uh, I don't know if you know this about your uncle. Um, he would never tell a soul this, but I snuck into the bunk one time. Uh, he was taking a snooze, uh, and he had a little blankie with hearts and bears. Jay just kind of raises her eyebrow at this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Does that ring any bells? Did that do anything Not for you? No? no. Okay. Um. <laughs> Uh, is Jay wearing any kind of insignia like the one that Dre would have yeah, been wearing? Yeah, I, I have the, uh, the thing in my hair, so the pin. Uh, oh, the, this pin! And I pull the pin right out of her hair. Hey, come uh, That's mine! He... Okay. <laughs> I'm not taking it. Calm down. Jeez, okay. He had a, he had a necklace just like it. Okay. Yeah, that's true enough. He did have one of those. But so does everybody in my family. I mean, if you know anything about my family, then that's that's just how it is around here. I mean, uh, this this represents the Farron family. Well, I, look, I, I can tell you stories, but it's you weren't there, so you're not gonna know. Okay, well, here, if you were on the Black Rose pirate ship, then that means you must have had something going on for you. So how about? How about we do a little test here, and you sure. show me you're capable of literally anything, because frankly, I don't believe it right now. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of starting to wonder why I have to prove myself to a barmaid. Because you came into my to my bar. Okay, well, we can have a competition then. Oh, sure. What do you got in mind? One second, let me finish. I finished dealing out all these drinks and, and meals quickly uh, as soon and as I, the last one touches down you again hear your mother yell out jj six more <sighs> table 4 12 and 27 i don't know if we're gonna have time for your little competition jj okay well how about we make use of what we have here you take three i take three whoever does it faster wins okay you gotta get them right though uh sure so at this point, as soon as you, uh, as soon as you take three plates away from Jay, this like tiny little uh, bluebird that's been flying around this area sits on your shoulder and just like pecks at your neck, Chip, and goes. Ow, stop! Stop! Get, call your bird. <laughs> fly, fly, and it like it like looks at you, tilts its head, and then flies off uh, and lands on your mother's finger and starts like chatting to her as she's a. Uh, 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 basically going back into the back of the kitchen as well. So if you guys are doing a little competition here mm -hmm. to determine who can serve <laughs> dishes the fastest. <laughs> this is very, this is very like Tilted <laughs> Jay's favor. Okay, I don't just want to put these down. I want to trip Jay for sure. <laughs> no, like absolutely. I want to trip the shit out of her and I want her to fall. And if that doesn't work, I have another thing I want to do. Before you roll your dis your contested dexterity, mm -hmm. um, so Chip rolled a hit on arm strike, and yep. if you hit, Jay, you'll roll a dex save. 
Does Jay have armor on right now that she would have had in, in normal? Is her I AC what it would be? She right wouldn't now? have that, no. One sec, let me actually unequip the armor. Okay. Roll the hit. Mm -hmm. Fuck! 12. And that <laughs> misses by one. Fuck! <laughs> she, she, uh. she notices you and, like, jumps over your foot, and, like, all the dishes kind of With float for a second. <clears throat> I give her a wink. observant, uh, like, obs ob observation, uh, and, and, like, very precise and quick on her feet. She just kind of hops over your leg, and you guys both need to roll uh, contested dexterity, just straight <laughs> dexterity rolls. And uh, okay. so as you get, both of your dexterities oh, are even. So uh, I I'd, pour. I'd also, when, I, when I'm when i doing this, I'd like to hand a drink to someone and with with their attention on one thing, take reach my hand down and steal coin purses. <laughs> <laughs> you are really going okay. crazy here. I'm not okay. this is just what he would do at the time. That's so, true. So, um, right. both roll dexterity Classic checks. Classic pirate move. And then roll yes, sleight of hand. To... All right, I'm rolling dexterity. Ooh, I rolled pretty good. Mine's a 21. I uh, got a 12. I accidentally rolled save. And my sleight of hand is a 9. Bad rolls on, on, I, <laughs> on my pirate. I oh, got well. a 21, and my stealth or my sleight of hand is a 9. Okay. Um... <laughs> so, here's how it goes now. You guys uh, split off as soon as you give them the right table numbers. And you watch. Though Chip is a bit more unorthodox in his movement, he's definitely not as smooth nor elegant. Um, he I'm gonna, I'm gonna bumps around a quite... perception check, by the way, to see if I can see him stealing. What's your passive perception right now? Uh, wow, I'm rolling bad. My passive perception? Mm -hmm. It says 19, but I don't know if that's right. One second. It would be lower because you wouldn't have the feet. Yeah, it's lower. It's like 13. You watch as Chip is is definitely more nimble and more uh, sophisticated on his feet, very skilled with how he moves around, though it's very kind of uh, rough and uh, bombastic in the way that he's kind of like ducking and like he, he slips and almost spills things, but then catches it anyways. Um, and he's setting things down and he's, he's ducking his hand underneath tables, but it's so smooth. And then at the very last... Um, person as you are you're struggling to kind of get around with these thoughts going on in your head from what he's distracting you with uh you get two plates down you have one more to go and you see that he finishes uh just a bit before you and as he does he turns around to say something confidently and then a large goliath man stands up right behind him and grabs the back of his <clears throat> neck and he goes hey is it hold on that's I just my like, pocket <clears throat> sit standing in front your of hands in. Standing in front of Jay all confidently. Mm -hmm. See, Jay? It's not so hard. <laughs> it's actually right really cool. Like, <laughs> you better give me that back, boy. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. I believe you, Chip. I believe you know. That was an absolute pirate uh, play through and through. Um, Your mother yells out, Oh, you guys better fucking take it outside. Um... The scene or the commotion goes silent as a large or a loud scream and the sound of your doors of this uh, of the of the bar being bursted into um, shocks the entire crowd and silences everyone. As you see a woman soaked and choking on her own tears rush in and start screaming, "May, may help!" They took my baby. They, they stole my daughter. You have to help. Oh shit! That sounds bad. Uh, and the guy drops uh, your neck for a second there, and then <sighs> just like takes the uh, <laughs> the coin pouch <sighs> away from your hand. Shit! I still got another one though. <laughs> your mother walks over after setting like another uh, mm -hmm. a few plates. They just kind of like slide off her arm onto a table, and then she spins the table a little bit to yeah. circle them out. And, and Jay has already ran up to start like company her at this point. Yeah, yeah. Your mother, um, you would also know that in this village, especially because of, you know, your mother's connection to uh, the Navy and just her, her stature, her own kind of like nature, her, her, her poise, a lot of the people in Kiwi Village come to May for almost like a leader in a sense, like an unofficial leader. There's mm -hmm. no kind of like government or anything in the village because it's very quaint. But mm -hmm. when there is a problem, there is an altercation, they always come to your mom. And so she walks up and she's kind of like brushing the hair uh, back 
uh, uh, on this on this lady's face to try and like wipe the tears away. And she's like, okay, tell me what's going on, what's wrong. And this woman is just like, a fucking losing it. Um, and she says, the, the thieves, the thieves, they 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 took her. <laughs> and she's like, okay, calm down. Let's get it out. What's going on? They said they went all the gold in the village. Or she'll be killed. And you know, this is not the, like the first time that you guys have had this problems. Happens a lot, yeah. <laughs> with the hundred wolves thieves, they don't. We're gonna fight one hundred wolves. <laughs> <laughs> they don't usually pull things this drastic, although they do often cause uh, altercations for uh, the village, especially when there is no protection. <sighs> Mom, we can't let them just get away with this again. I know, I know. Um, and she's like, uh, like holding, you know, uh, uh like kind of like rubbing the back of her head and holding the the mother who is just like losing it, and uh, and soaking her, her 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 dress with her own tears. And I can take care of things here. Yeah, one second. I'm gonna borrow some silverware in the back. Ooh. Um, okay. Well, uh, good luck with that, uh, JJ. I'm gonna skedaddle. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good you luck. would, wouldn't you? The second things get a little hairy. What do you mean? <laughs> Chip of the Black Rose Pirates. Okay. Look, this is not my problem. Uh, but good luck, though. <laughs> How are you going to captain a crew <laughs> if you're if you're too afraid when even the, the slightest little baby little thing? I I am not afraid. Oh, oh, the captain. The captain is a coward. Are you um, done? Jay grabs like a little leather bag and, and stuffs like some forks and spoons and knives in there. Um, and it just kind of looks like it's a lumpy almost sack of gold. And she ties it up. <laughs> That's uh, at least what she's going for. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're just gonna, you're gonna run now? Is that it? You're gonna run off to your little, where's your ship anyway? Is it? It's down by the dock. The little robot? With what? The robot? The rowboat? No, it's not it's a, a rowboat. It's a ship. It's big. It's a decent sized ship. That's why I call it the Big Chipper. Doesn't look very big to me. Okay, it's it's a good size. Why do you need more ship than that? That's um, like perfect I guess size. If you want, I guess if you want a crew of more than one person, then and then Chip, maybe you, you see, want a bigger ship. You see this woman um, as she's kind of being uh, Jay's mother uh, after kind of nodding at Jay. Just like holding her, taking her to the back, and she is just the pain in the voice of a mother who has had their child taken away from them is not only deafening, but it's heart wrenching. There is no other sound of pain and fear than the sound of this mother crying. Um and she's saying, please, get, please help me get her back. Now, listen, Chip, and she kind of hoists um, the, the bag of, of all the silverware over her shoulder, and she grabs a longbow off of the wall <laughs> and some arrows as well, like a little a little quiver. A quiver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Um, and puts that around her shoulder. I'm going to go save this kid now. Um, so if you want to get on your little boat and drown out at sea, I guess uh, that's your choice. But frankly, uh, <laughs> I still don't believe you about the whole Black Rose thing. <laughs> and I kind of tap him on the nose. Jay would never back down from something like this. <laughs> and she starts walking out the door. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> okay, hang on. One second. Okay, I go shimmy Start up. chasing her out the door. Yeah, <clears throat> now you guys are walking on like the dirt road outside. Now, what do you, what do you even gain from helping this lady? Why is this your problem? Don't you have better um, things to be doing? Or is well, bar maidening all, what you want to do forever? Well, no, it's not, thank you. No, why do you but do it? it's something to do right now while I'm in You're... between other things. Oh, it's something to do right now. Yeah. Listen, and what I get from this? What, the sad, helping people isn't enough? Is well, that it? Oh, look at me, I'm Jay Farron. I need to help people and save humanity and kiss babies. You're an ass, you know that? 
<laughs> I've heard it a couple of times, but that's not generally the key term. No, actually, I don't think <clears throat> ass is the right word. It'll come to you. I It'll come maybe... to you. I, not, uh, look. Yeah, it'll come. You <laughs> care so much about this lady and her precious little baby. I'll help you. But, 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 one, we do it my way. Okay? I'm the captain. And two, if we do it right, all goes well, you sail around with me. Just for a little while. <laughs> Jay looks like a very unimpressed... Um, but a little smirk kind of grows on her face. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, no, I'm serious. You know, you don't believe me about about the Black Rose Pirates and, and stuff? Let me show you. you know, I'm, like I said, a little between crews right now. I could, I could use a Farron. <laughs> and Okay, well, prove it to me that it's worth it when we deal with these thieves. Okay. Sure. And she cracks her knuckles a little bit as uh, she starts to head towards the bluffs. <sighs> It'll be easy. It's a bit of a trek uh, eastward. Um, and you guys will be doing a little bit of hiking. But once you leave the cluster of buildings that make up the village, you're just walking on this dirt path with, um, you know, scattered trees and foliage around. It's, it's beautiful. Lots of hills, uh, lots of greenery. Um, you notice that... Uh, uh, the closer you get to the, the bluffs, which are more uh, kind of gray, although they are packed with, uh, like, it's gray rock, but it's packed with, you know, green forests and trees and stuff. Um, there is a small, like, narrow sliver path where you can start hiking your way up, although it is quite the um, jagged or steep cliff and incline, so making your way up is, is not a straight path up, but there seems to be a way, and Jay knows the way as you guys begin to scale that, and you can talk on the way if you'd like. So you, you haven't, like, uh, you haven't seen your uncle at all, uh, heard from him, no letters? Um, no. It's been years, I mean. And you know. Last time I saw him was when he set off to join the Black Rose. And you know what happened to the Black Rose? Um, heard it's, rumors, but. It's gotten around, for sure. It's mostly just a bunch of crazy bullshit, like something to do with some stuff about the Sakura Ocean turning black or something. I don't know. I wouldn't believe it unless I saw it myself. Yeah, I, I guess you wouldn't. It sounds pretty crazy, but I... You know, I was there. I, I saw it. So you're telling me the entire sea just turned an inky black? Instantly. Yeah, after a bunch of tentacles started attacking and or grabbing, and I, I just remember a lot, well, a lot went down. It was. Just, I mean, how old were you? Like, this would have been years ago. I mean, you. Can't yeah, be. yeah, it was. It was a while ago. Um. Yeah. Either way, it, it's it's real. It happened. Hmm. I'm gonna find them because. You know, I made it out so. Well, yeah, I guess all I can do is hope that Dre is okay. I'd love oh, to he, see I, him he's, again. Oh, he's fine. Come on, they're <laughs> Black Rose Pirates. Seriously? I mean, A little I think hole in proud. the sea is going to stop them? I I don't think so. You'd be surprised, actually, at how, how little can stop such a large ship. You ever hear of the Bibanic? Bibanic? <laughs> at this point, <laughs> both of you roll perception checks. <laughs> As you're making your way up uh, the steep cliffs of the bluffs. Ironically, 19. 19, Eight. great. Eight. So, Chip, you don't notice. So you're kind of caught off guard as you're speaking. And in the middle of your sentence, you hear Jay yell, um, as Jay, you see and hear a huge boulder tumble off one of the cliffs above you and come crashing down to where you guys are walking up on this kind of like very narrow path where one slip and you're gonna start falling off. Uh, it is just crashing down immediately. Both of you gotta roll dexterity saving throws. Can I, can uh, I Jay with advantage. to try and pull the pull like chip off? That would and, like, remove your advantage, but so yeah, chip would fun. be at disadvantage. Jay oh, I have, advantage, I have but if, 
So let's on the first bring it. Roll. Right, so both of you would roll straight rolls if, if Jay helps you. Yeah. 20, dirty. I got an 18. Uh, oh, Jay actually Jesus. saves your fucking life, Chip. <laughs> she pulls you ahead where she's walking, and this large boulder crashes and then uh, breaks part of the, the pathway in the rubble away, causing this gap in between the path. Uh, so now you are, you are, there is a, a very, there's almost a long jump now, about like six to 12 feet of a gap where that boulder just crashed through as you guys are climbing up this, this steep cliff. Um, and it just, you see it continue to tumble in and then it eventually stops as it hits one of the trees and the tree just kind of like slants due to the heavy impact. Um, yeah, terrifying. <laughs> Whoa. Fuck. Um, that was that was a close one. <sighs> yeah, Glad I got myself is, out of that one. This is the usual. <sighs> yeah, you sure did. Yeah, <laughs> kind of slippery that way. You um, look up Jay, and you would notice that there is remnants with your perception check of that being intentionally dropped. No, yeah, she she absolutely assumes so. <sighs> They're always like this. Who the boulders? No, the, the fucking hundred wolf sleeves. <laughs> They are, they are, they play dirty, okay? Just be careful up here. Okay, uh, I'll be careful. Uh, so you said there's a gap? Mm -hmm. From the way you okay. came. If you imagine you're kind of like walking up uh, like different cliffs, if that makes sense, uh, there's no like one incline of a path that makes it easy, like stairs or whatever, to just keep going up. You kind of have to get to a point, hoist yourself up, walk up a path that kind of like curves around uh, you know, one of these uh, inclines and then continue to just kind of hike up that way, creating your own path. And then some of the paths are just jutting mm -hmm. out on cliffs where you're like walking uh, almost almost like a tightrope, but like where your back is up against the wall. This is one of those moments where you're on your back is up against the wall and you just kind of swing chip over and now that path is just destroyed from where you came. So Chip, you're you're the captain here, right? So what's your plan when we go up here? I mean, I've got this bag of, <laughs> gold yeah Which that'll uh, that'll come in handy hang on to that um uh -huh. i got a plan don't worry we'll just have to see what it's looking like when we get up there you're you gonna f fill me in on the plan at all yeah all right <laughs> so what you never thought about being a pirate like your uncle not into following the family footsteps <laughs> you could say that um, they're not into following the family footsteps, I guess. <laughs> but oh. a pirate? Nah, I mean, maybe. Depends. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be one of those rowdy guys down there who's <laughs> causing trouble. Well, I mean, it's not for everybody. You're but... a rowdy guy, Chip? <laughs> I can get kind of rowdy. You cause trouble? Here and there. Perhaps. But it's you know it's not all just bars and yelling. You know, there's there's more to being a pirate than just that. I'll tell you what, Chip. If this goes well, I will I will consider joining your crew. All right. And I'll be your captain. Mm. And you'll call me captain. No. And you'll call. You'll not. say I, I captain every time no. that I, that no. we get we set sail. I'm not here to fulfill some sort of power fantasy. Stop. Okay. No. You're making it really weird now, JJ. Come on. I think uh, I think Don't I hear something. Call me ahead. that. How are you trekking along? Are you stealthing? Are you just being um, out there as, as we possible? Get, as we would hear other things. My perception wasn't that good, so I guess I would notice when they're kind of loud and we're really close, I would start stealthing. But I Jay wouldn't start would stealthing right away. You guys are going to have to walk through sort of a cavern that is carved out into um, this mountainous, the bluffs, essentially. Um, and you, I guess you would know that you're getting closer to where that entrance is. <laughs> Though you don't usually have to come up here. As soon as it becomes apparent that we sh should stealth, like we're around people, sure. I will stealth, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, if Jay? I hear anything, yeah, I'll, okay. Both of you roll it. Let's do the same. Um, oh, well, the captain will tell you to stealth when he stealths. 22. Natural 20. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys start stealthing up and you kind of like duck behind this large rock uh, that is just, you know, six or so feet away from the entrance. And you see sitting in front of the entrance to this kind of like cavern that uh, either descends 
uh, or goes deeper into the inside of this of the bluffs here uh, you see sitting out there some kind of like trollish bulky elongated arms but kind of like caved in torso this uh pale skinned but uh, like trollish figure with like <laughs> weirdly nice combed blonde hair uh and this like uh, uh long face with this bulbous nose uh crooked bulbous nose mm. and it's just kind of sitting there twiddling uh or, or fidgeting with this like little pebble uh with his knees up his hands on it his arms on its knees as it's just kind of sitting waiting with its brows oh. furrowed <clears throat> and he's he got a blocking haircut since the last time i saw him whoa that's a big dude okay okay so uh. what's, uh, what's the plan here mr mr captain sir well, I'm glad you asked, my gracious crew member. <sighs> hey, not yet. <laughs> we're going to have to lead him away somehow. What's the goal here? Are we trying to get in and uh, fight somebody, or are we just well, grabbing the baby get... and going? We're trying to grab the child, yeah. Okay. Also, I wouldn't mind, you know, breaking a few kneecaps. I mean, let's not kill anybody. Let's just get what we came for and leave. But we got to gotta get big boy out of here somehow um i need a rock uh hey what about a rock hmm. he seems infatuated with those <laughs> i have an idea <laughs> let's yeah. use rocks to lure him away wow that is so smart you okay so incredible here's here's what i'm gonna do uh i'm going to throw a rock <laughs> over there and we're gonna sneak around the other way when yeah, he's not let's... looking yeah let's do it sure cool all right i don't want to grab a rock and chuck it distract him you'll basically make a deception versus their perception that's all deception we'll do i'm bad at that i rolled so bad that's an eight you flick a tiny pebble uh, and it just tick, 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 hits the ground in front of him off a little bit to the side you know, away from where you guys are and you see as he's inspecting the pebble in his hands drops that pebble posture kind of like raises up and he looks slowly to the other rock that you threw <laughs> she like stands up and he bends over and he walks over his back is turned as he's looking and he looks at the rock and he goes Moving rock. <laughs> and he just he's like starts to pick it up really slowly. He yep. rolled a natural one. Oh <laughs> bet. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, because of his bad roll, I say that you guys have enough time as his back is turned to kind of like sneak past, especially with your stealth checks. Yeah. As you sneak past uh quietly, you guys kind of head down these wooden steps with uh torches sort of like nailed. Uh, to the size of the cavern walls, you start to descend mm -hmm. deeper into this, uh, like, tunnel. As we're and... going down quickly, I just want to say to Jay, uh, does she have, gun like, a gun? I'm using a bow and arrow. Do you, you wouldn't have any kind of bullets on you or anything? No. No. Fuck! Oh. I'm sorry, no bullets today. All right, so what is your, who is, who's walking in front and who's walking behind as you guys start to walk through this, uh, this tunnel? I'm walking in ahead. search of the uh, uh, the main area. Where are they? Yeah, I, I will stay behind a little bit. Uh, so as you continue down, uh, the path straightens out at a certain point, and you're walking with the the cavernous walls to your left and your right, and eventually you just come to a simple sort of wooden reinforced door that sort of bars the entry to any way any way forward. And without even checking, you know, as soon as you go to try and open it, it's locked. It seems to be some kind of door. Wow. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Very astute, Captain. Mm. <laughs> Hang on. The captain's got this. I go to open it. It's locked. Damn. I got one more idea. Lockpick. Yeah. Okay, so you bust out a, <laughs> uh, these tools that you just kind of like swing around your, your, your finger like a ring of keys and you start going at it. Roll sleight of hand. I want this to be bad so that Jay can <laughs> go down and no, do it No, I got a, I got a stinky 20. Um, oh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, uh, 
Psych. No, I'm scared. <laughs> <That's laughs> uh, you hear as you just kind of like clingle it or, or jingle it down there for a little bit, and in a, in a flash, it opens up. Uh, and as soon as you open up that door, you guys walk past it into a, the, another hallway, uh, and there is a, another door. I, I look, I'm like walking backwards. <laughs> and that's why I'm the captain. Oh, shit. Another door. Yeah, there's another door. Uh, yeah. Uh, Go down and lock break it. <laughs> okay, I open the door. <laughs> you just go like go to open the door. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's unlocked. Yeah. Oh damn it! <laughs> so he like bends down beneath your 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 arm and starts to lock break um, it again. Roll side event. I'm, uh sure. Uh, I'm like talking under my breath. Who puts two fucking doors like this? <laughs> no, it's like one door right after the other. Natural twenty. <laughs> the hundred, the hundred Natural twenty, ones. bro. Again, easy enough. Like, what's the total actually for this? Twenty-seven. Okay, easy enough. You lockpick this door. It opens up, creaks open. Jay, you immediately notice. You start to walk backwards again. Another door. <laughs> you know, Jay, I think you're gonna be joining my hey, crew after you're walking. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're pretty proficient with those things. Yeah, thanks. You know, that's yeah, let me give him a try. Special <laughs> skill I have. Yeah, take him. <laughs> Fucking door. You go to lock the door? Yeah, 19. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You put the like the, the thieves tools in and you're just kind of like uh, doing it your own way, a little bit different of a technique with the hands here uh, than Chip does, but uh, you used to hear it successfully click and unlock. And uh, as the door starts to swing open, I need both of you to roll a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> as a burst of flame from above and below you just goes <laughs> <laughs> right in front of the Natural door. one. I hear, I hear a click. I'm like, hey, Chip, I think I did that a little faster. Holy than you shit! Did. I open the door and I got a two plus five seven. Oh my god! I'm Holy sitting thing. there like with my arms crossed, tat, like waiting. <laughs> Both of you take eight points of fire damage. <laughs> awesome. As I get burned, I'm like comically charred. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that. But I don't move. I'm just. Ow. <laughs> but the door does open and uh, the the actual flames don't stop. You have to kind of like run through them uh, in order to get through the door here. But uh, oh, damn it. you're finally over it. And right after that, there is another door. No, I'm scared. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a chamber. Bro, I would throw you through the door. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so you guys successfully make it past the first kind of like barrier of getting in here, the three doors. Um, uh, <laughs> a little bit singed, but you're able to continue your way through the uh, uh, the den here. God damn it. My hair is singed. Looking over at me and I'm just like a <laughs> shard mess. Oh, your hair is singed. Yeah? Oh God, I'm so sorry that that happened to you. Do you have a band-aid? I forgot the band-aid, so one second, I, I put my hand up to him and it starts glowing like a, a bright green. Whoa, and chill, I'm not into that. I cast Cure Wounds and I'm chill out. Whoa, That's wait, a spell. how did you do that? You have magic? You've never heard of magic? I, I just didn't know you had it. Yeah, I have magic. Do you not? No, I do, it's just like different. It's just like a different kind of magic. It's just not like this, you know? It's like way cooler. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll show you later. Maybe if you come on my ship and be a part of my crew. Sure, okay. <laughs> yeah, but we need to focus right now, though. All right, everyone. Roll a charisma saving throw. Oh, what's that? A natural one? Well, it doesn't matter. You've all been charmed by me, the dungeon master. It was too simple. After spending days on Just Roll With It Twitter, I knew exactly what makes every single one of you tick. <laughs> now, all of you, proceed to the JRWI Patreon and give us all, all of your money! <laughs> Listen to Connie's mini campaign Apotheosis and then Bisley's campaign Prime Defenders when it returns. Glue your eyes to the screen and never look away. <laughs> ah.
All right, enjoy the rest of the episode. Did I mention it's like patreon.com slash just roll with it? That's probably important. So uh, the path declines uh, more and it begins to kind of like twist and turn as you're heading through the, the tunnels here. You come to a, another open chamber, eventually after a bit of walking. Um, and in this chamber, it is completely pitch black. Um, with the only kind of light that you have is from the torches behind you that are leaking through into it. But you don't see past that enough to where you can see, especially because you guys are both human, you don't see past it enough where you can uh, uh, see the exit. Or the other, where the other path, you know, continues. Okay, watch your step in here. Please. There might be more fight. <laughs> I'm fine. I watch my step, though. Like, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, uh... <laughs> Both of you guys are watching your step. Go ahead and roll yeah. perception check with a uh, with disadvantage. Looking for like traps. If you're checking for traps, it's investigation. Oh, okay. I was looking for traps. That's totally investigation. Oh, investigation. Um, mm -hmm. I got a 15. I got a nine. So Chip, if you're trying to like watch yeah. your step. Um, and as you're walking through this chamber, that's really, really dark. Um, you don't quite, you're just kind of walking in a straight line, assuming mm -hmm. that the path just goes straight. And uh, there's a moment where you personally hear a click underneath your foot, just as Jay sees, uh, or, or not sees, but or notices the presence of sort of a pressure plate by tapping it on her own foot without stepping on it. Wait, can it be like, I'm walking through, I'm like, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a trap right here. There's well, because you were walking wire. first, you don't see it. Well, <laughs> I, I wouldn't see this trap. It's a different trap. Um, like, I, it's a trap. That's not really there. Like, I pretend to see one. I'm like, make sure to step over this one. I reach my foot all the way over. <laughs> Click. <laughs> As in your mouth opens up do? to say something, Jay, and you just hear it. What uh, do I do? It's been a pleasure knowing you, but you have to stand No, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Just don't you leave me. <laughs> don't you leave me here. You've got to stand there for the rest of time. I don't think I can do that. I have to pee already. You can still pee. In here? Yeah, it's pitch black. Okay. I could pee. <laughs> no, no don't, not okay, now. Okay, that, don't just, God, be more clear. God, you are a bastard. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Fuck off, okay? What are you, what After a few moments, torches in this room seem to magically light up. And you notice that there is oh, uh, a, a continuation to the path off to the left. Um, but in all four corners of this chamber, there are these kind of statues of the heads of wolves and their mouths begin to slowly open. Okay, we gotta run. <laughs> I can't run, I'm gonna die. Well, it's either run or get incinerated. Okay, okay, okay I'll run, I'll run. <laughs> I run. Okay. <laughs> um, as soon as your foot... Uh, Remo is removed from this little pressure plate. Oh, you guys are shit. Uh, as um, four of these like uh, blurs, li like line of blurs, come at you, Chip. Uh, Just dodge everything. <laughs> It'll be easy. So it is an 18 hit. I look back. I go. What did you say? Ow! <laughs> I know that one hits because. Okay, so three of them out of the four of them hit you. Um, <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jace, you're just gonna be fucked up, Chip. <laughs> How much damage do I take? You take. Seems like you got it from the right dice. Take seven points of piercing damage. You gotta make a constitution saving throw as you guys sort of uh, tumble into the uh, the next, the, the ongoing path as these, uh, these darts kind of fly out of the mouths of these wolf statues. 15 is my con save. Okay, you're fine. Uh, you notice that these these <clears throat> darts are all, as you're like sticking out of your arm, your shoulder, and your chest, they're definitely poisoned, but uh, you're able to resist the the uh, uh, side effects of it. I, I, I want to like not notice them right away and look back. See? Dodged <laughs> it just fine. Wow, yeah. Good job spotting that trap, by the way. <laughs> you know, it's, you know it, it takes a lot of practice. Uh, but you'll get there, I think. Like, if, you know, I, I'll help you. You know, we can, when you're part of my crew, we can, tr oh my god. <laughs> Are these poisonous? I, I, I rip one out of them. Ah! <laughs> uh, yeah, that's poisonous. 
Oh, they're oh. barbed too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Ah. Okay. Uh, well, I think we're almost through this place. I think maybe. Mm, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just. <laughs> just shake it off. Um. You want to help me pull this one? <laughs> oh, you got one back here too. Uh, oh! <laughs> okay. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> the two of you okay. continue deeper into the tunnels. Into now, how the about den. you? You go the first field. for now. Do you change marching orders from Jay's first? <laughs> yeah, I'm just. I, I'm I, gonna. Captain. I'm gonna watch the rear. I feel like they're gonna be coming up behind us here any minute now. Are you? Uh, uh, so you're both keeping an eye out again? I'm yes, just hiding I'm behind there. Mm -hmm. I'm still keeping an eye out. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll one more perception check, Jay. As you continue down the path that uh, winds. So, like, in front of you, there's, like, this line of multiple tripwires that are only about a foot apart uh, in this pathway. And this gonna, it's, it's basically like a hallway now. The path hasn't changed in width after you exited that last chamber. Um, though it has been, like, winding and, and continuing to descend. But now, but blocking your path forward... Uh, without careful step, you notice with your perception check those trip wires that are just one after another all the way to the end of the hallway. Uh, Jay stops moving. Hey, watch while you're walking. I'm sorry. You're not I'm just keeping stop. it. Stop. You not see them? Yeah, I see them. What? Do I see them? Hold on. <laughs> Let me roll perception. Bro, she's pointing it out to you. You definitely see them. <laughs> I'm roll, roll perception. <laughs> 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 I got a five. <laughs> Can't be seen, but Jay is squinting. <laughs> Jesus. Come on. What are you going to do? You know, okay, maybe well, I don't want you I, in my crew. I take some steps over the traps. All right. Acrobatic check. Not like you can be picky about it. Well, I don't just accept anybody. 15. Okay. And is that why you have nobody? Yeah. Wow. So you start taking your first steps um, and for the first few gaps, you are able to like nimbly uh, keep on your toes without tripping one of the wires. Chip, do you continue? I'm going to, I'm going to try and do exactly what she did. Okay. Agrobotic sec. Just still about how we're going halfway through. Uh, I don't know where they are specifically though. So I, I want to roll with this advantage. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an eight. He did roll a five. That's an eight. Oh my god. That's an eight. That's an eight. That's oh my god. That's an eight. So Chip, I, I'm gonna die. <laughs> this time, uh, as you as you're trying to follow behind Jay's footsteps, you actually step right on one of the trip wires, and the ground, sort of the rubble beneath Jay's feet, begin to immediately cave away and and fall as if like false floor, uh, as if like the uh, like the dirt or the sand or whatever just caves in like quicksand. Uh, uh, but she begins to fall right in front of you, despite her lunge. success. I um, lunge to grab her to, okay. to hold, hold on to her. Yeah, so Jay, you just feel the ground underneath your feet completely vanish, and you start to oh, fall. Oh, shit! Uh, Chip, make an athletics check. Uh, it's a seven. But, 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 surely I deserve advantage for reasons that no. aren't. <laughs> that aren't available to my brain at the current moment, but surely I do. I do. I've been a, I've been a good boy this session. I deserve it. <laughs> you have not been a good boy this session. I have. <laughs> I'll say that um, with a seven, you succeed at a cost, or you don't succeed at all. I'll succeed at a cost. Okay. So. You succeed in order in grabbing Jay, but you lunge so far forward, you have to catch yourself as well, sort of on this now like dropping cliff. So both of you are now hanging with one arm uh, at the edge of the path and the other uh, holding onto Jay. And Jay, you look below you, and there's just this. Uh, they're not huge, but it is a floor of of uh, almost like you're about to fall on a bunch of nails. Oh, punchy pit. What did you say? It's a punji pit. What's a punji pit? It's a war tactic. It's a trap that breaks out from underneath you and you fall on a bunch of spikes. 
Oh, wow, that sounds awesome. Uh, you're heavy, you're really heavy. Your fingers are slipping. That the, is really fucked up. <laughs> the uh, end of the other gap is uh, like a swing away. I mean, like, if you were able to get back up with your strength, you could jump it, but at the moment, you're both are just hanging. Okay, here, let me try to get my own handhold. I'm gonna okay. try to, like, find my old hosing like, climb, away Just from climb shit. up me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I try to climb up him. <laughs> Uh, as soon as you get up to the the top J, Chip, you lose your grip on your fingers and you begin to slip and, and start to fall. I, I reach down to try. Okay, yeah, strength check. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of rolls. Plus strength. Yep. 16, not bad. Okay, so you catch him and he's dangling now, but you're not uh. dangling. <laughs> With that same roll, I say you're able to pull him up. Um, and uh, neither of you, unfortunately, fall into the spikes. The trap. Man, imagine dying <laughs> in our prequel. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Dude, I'm trying to keep it like, you know, a little low key so you guys don't accidentally die here. <laughs> like, I keep worrying about the damage we, of the we, fire. We will I don't remember what you were like at level three. We will rewrite the story and delete whoever dies in this prologue. All right. It, um, it can be the how it should have gone. <laughs> no, bro, we have to keep this as canon as possible. All right, um, so uh, the two of you at that point, is there anything else you wanted to say before you continue on? As I'm, as I start falling, oh god, not the punchy, but oh, oh, yeah, I got you. Pull I'm me up, the, please. Struggling to pull him up. <laughs> uh, you're heavy. <laughs> <sighs> I, I get up and I lay on my back. Oh god. Ah. Uh. That sucks. You need to watch your step. Oh, you need to watch your step. You ha heavy fucking. So, uh, you guys. You are uh, rude. Effortlessly, I would say. You're annoying. Uh, you're able to leap over this, uh, this trap now and continue on. And you eventually emerge into a chamber lit by uh, uh, hanging sort of like candle chandeliers. Uh, but like, you know, copper and, and wooden uh, mm. interior in here. And there is uh, a sight to behold as you see this this large rotund um, or a robust, whichever word works the best here. Uh, very sort of like walnut skinned man who's just like sitting kind of like waiting with a few uh, of like the like lackeys next to his sides with crossbows as he like stands up and you can see just uh, on the floor tied hog tied up with this kind of like a uh, cloth uh, into her mouth this no, like a teenage age uh, but not quite adult and not like super young and get preteen uh, this uh, teenager girl who resembles her mother a lot and she just kind of like tears running down her face as she's gagged and uh, uh, holding on to like or trying to get out like streams but it's like super muffled as she sees you guys she's like squirming but she's kind of like tied down to the ground here and, and this man with this like uh, uh, uh kind of like blue sleeveless uh almost like militaristic but it's definitely like you know like a makeshift captain's uniform here and he's got this uh, 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 uh two scimitars at the side mm. As uh, he like steps forward with kind of like a bone earring hanging down, this like really big jaw, really big like square face, beard coming down his, his, uh, uh, his uh, down to his chest as he's got this like bandana tied around his uh, his 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 forehead and one of his eyes just kind of like wiggles beneath uh, like to the left and the right like kind of sways. It's not like fully in place, kind of like a I want to say like a glass eye, and uh, he looks at both of you and he smiles. <sighs> So someone finally came. <laughs> oh, he can Is this guy us? familiar to me? Um, like this guy, I, I mean, he doesn't really ever show his face, but you can definitely tell just by the sort of uniform mix match of red, black, and blue that this is the uh, wolves, the hundred wolf thieves captain who is uh, waiting for someone to arrive. Yeah, <sighs> but I know his name. Yeah, Captain Blackbeard. Didn't even have to start making threats. You just came right into my own den. Surprise, you lived. <laughs> yeah, you surely didn't make it easy for us. 
This hey. is a new low Blackbeard, even for you. Bring What's the ransom. What's with the bungee pit? No, you give us the girl first. Hey, Her life's now, worth more than this gold will ever be. I've uh, yeah. got the leverage here. And you're outnumbered. One small, slight movement that I don't like and my boys Jiffy and Lube over here will shoot her dead. I, uh, I look towards Chip and I mouth the word <clears throat> plan. <laughs> um, I'm standing there kind of, kind of looking at them. Um, and I give her a wink for a second. I walk up. Now, now, now. Let's calm down, everybody. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself first. I'm Pulls Captain out both Chip of, his blades of and he the points when Big Chip. Not another okay. step forward, okay. there, bastard. Uh, that's, that's that's fine. Why does everyone keep calling me that today? <laughs> um, look, I think there's been a bit of a misunderstanding here. Like um, walks forward. Uh, You're gonna drop that uh, sack of gold right in front of me, and I'm gonna have my boys check it. And then he just puts his foot right on uh, on the side of the of the of the girl's head and just kind of like crushes it into the ground. <clears throat> Otherwise, she's toast. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. I I completely understand. Uh, Jay, you can go ahead and drop the 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 bag you've got there. But uh, I, I'm sure there's another way we can we can work all this out. Um. Especially since if, and I want to reach in to my pocket, uh, uh, just real slowly. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to grab the most complex looking thieves tool I can find. Something that almost looks like it could be magical. Um, <laughs> what are you talking no, about? No, just something that, that looks, can, that he wouldn't recognize. Um, I don't know what's like a, a good thieves tool to use. Um, these are thieves. So if you expect thieves to not recognize thieves tools. Okay, no, I'm gonna I have a holy symbol for some reason. Um Why do you have a holy symbol? I don't know. I don't know, bro. I just have it. I just have a holy symbol. Oh my god, I see um, that. Yeah, I just have a holy symbol. Um So you just stole a holy symbol. I wanna okay. so it was I, just in somebody's wallet. Yeah. I didn't put that there just now, by the way. That's been there. I know. Um <clears throat> So in my inventory, I have a holy symbol. I want to, I want it to be like a golden rod, just like a real kind of smaller, like golden rod. It wouldn't have to be actual gold, just the color of gold. Um, so there are a holy symbol is basically like a, almost like a pendant. And there are only two holy symbols. What? Um, it yeah, can't yeah, be whatever yeah. I want it to be. That doesn't, it's not how it works, especially if you took it from someone. You can still pull it out, but it just won't be a rod. I'm just trying to think of something they wouldn't recognize. I have everything I have is something they would recognize. Um, fuck. Okay, I don't have anything to pull out. I, I, I'm sure we can come to another misun. Uh, I'm sure we can come to another understanding. Uh, like I said, the gold's right there, but I wouldn't touch it if I were you. Uh, I don't know if you know who you're talking to, but that's the J. Farron. Um, and she's obviously come with a plan here. Uh, now, if, if you'll just allow me, please put down the swords. Um, as there's been dynamite placed all around here. And if you don't <laughs> surrender that girl to us, she's going to detonate it. Jay looks shocked. <laughs> you see the girl who's having her face stepped on. Look, like her eyes widen as she looks at Chip. And Chip, you notice this. Yeah. She is like, like, she looks fucking distraught, dude. God, roll deception check. <clears throat> uh, okay. Jake, uh, are you backing me up in any way? Um, I, I look shocked at him for a second, and then I, I'm gonna pull out. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, reach into my, my pouch and pull out. I'm gonna, like, twist off the cap of my tankard and, like, flick it up in my arm, in my hand. It's like, I'm gonna blow this entire fucking place to the sky yes. if you don't give us <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you can run a uh, with advantage. Yes! <laughs> the, the girl's squealing, like, ah! Come on, come on, baby, come on, baby. Are you kidding me? No, it's That's a 10. A ten. Oh. <laughs> oh, and 10 isn't, you know, awful. That was with advantage? Yeah, bro, I rolled like a four and a seven. 
Can I have I wanna the believe. inspiration? I want to believe. <laughs> you, you still, I mean, you still have inspiration, but it would take it away from the the main campaign as well. Like when we get back into it, It'd be a weird place to use it. You know what? <laughs> I want to fucking use it. I have Gillian Tide Strider. He's my inspiration. I'm never beating the fucking allegations, bro. Um, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll it one more time. Okay. Um, <laughs> deception. All right, we got this. Come on, Jay. Hold my fucking hand. We got this. I don't know. Am I reaching the right way right now? No. No. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. We got this, bro. Shit. Yeah? We got this? Yeah. We got this. Here, we got this. I'm rolling deception. Fuck! <laughs> Nine! Worse! <laughs> Nothing matters! Uh, Captain Blackbeard looks at you. He just kind of like squints his eyes. Yeah, I know that's a fairin'. What good is she if her daddy's not home? <laughs> Blow the whole thing up! Take us all out if you have the fucking cojones. Like I said, maybe we could come to a, a better understanding, right? Like, what what is it you really want? Do you want this little bit of gold or do you want a bigger score? Come on, I mean, that's just a little bag of gold there. What's that going to get you? Maybe a couple gallons of ale, right? You could do a lot better than that, honestly. Captain Blackbeard, right? I'm a little disappointed that that's what you do. Uh, you're right. That isn't enough gold. Guess you'll have to go back and get me more before I release the hostage. <laughs> Chip, you're digging a really well. Bad. Well, you're just digging us deeper. What if I could give you a map to a whole lot more gold? A map made only by the Black Rose Pirates, leading to their great treasure. You already failed so many deception checks. <laughs> one more, one more, baby, please, one more. No, Jay, I love you, you so anything? much, I love you. I give Jay a chance to do something before I continue. Is he about to like attack us? I'm, I'll give you a chance you to do something before I continue. I'm looking, yeah, I like, look over at Jay like, I don't know what to fucking do here. He's definitely work. not buying anything Chip is saying. Okay, if he's not buying it, then I'm gonna walk up and drop the bag it's like tied tightly so it won't reveal anything uh, in front of him and take a few steps back. Okay, there's your gold. Go ahead, check it. Nah, I'm gonna need the rest of your valuables now, too. What? I, don't, I, don't, I have like four pieces of gold, man. Your weapons, your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I raise my eyebrows at Chip. Um, and I and I go pull out, pull off my, my longbow. And I, I go to reach down to the ground and, like, put it down. But I'm going to quickly pull it back up and try to take a pot shot at these guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, roll to hit. And I'll okay, no other way out of this. <laughs> oh, God. I should have just left. <laughs> uh, nine. God damn it. <laughs> hey, now's a chance to really prove your worth, Chip. <laughs> nine doesn't hit, but both of you will roll initiative as he just kind of like moves his head. It flies back. Actually, <laughs> nine doesn't hit any of the lackeys either, but one of them goes ah! as he like trying to like jumps back. Um, uh, and the captain, our, our captain Blackbird, yells out, "We'll have to do this the fun way, then, I guess." Uh, and then he's just uh, he's about to go for a, a strike at one of you guys, but roll initiative. Uh, okay. Roll fifteen. I rolled fucking eight. I'm doing so bad today. Yeah, it's not looking great today. Full bastard chip sucks. So first up, the bandit captain uh, has both of these uh, scimitars uh, brandished, and he goes for a strike right on you, Jade. And he goes, you bitch. Uh, and he's going to try and hit you for nothing because that doesn't hit. Uh, you kind of parry it off with your, your bow. Mm -hmm. Um, and he will take a another attack as well. And also, wait, wait, what is your AC right now? 14. Uh, I would have equipped like regular level. So that just hits. The stud. Oh, that just damn. hits. I rolled a nine. He's got plus five. So 14 to hit. Damn. Um, you're going to take five points uh, of slashing damage. 
And after that, it's gonna be your turn, Jay. Okay. Um, Jay grabs another arrow. She like kind of is, Let's go, is Jay! taken back by the sudden sudden slash that she took, but she kind of regains her composure and grabs another arrow out of her quiver, and she aims it right at the captain. Mm -hmm. But in the moment, she flicks it towards the person who's closest to the child and tries to shoot that guy. That is a twenty-four. Twenty-four definitely hits. You see, as one of the one of the guys, uh, either Jiffy or Lube, you don't know which one, is walking over to point the crossbow uh, at the uh, the young girl, trying like still keep the leverage. But you immediately shoot, fires right into his shoulder. What is the damage? Ten damage. Ten damage. Awesome. Uh, he's so, seven he, plus a three. He gets a little bit knocked back uh, and sort of like steps back and like screams this like loud pain of agony. These guys are much scrawnier. Uh, uh, than the, the big captain, but they definitely look like they'll hold their own a little bit, especially with their ranged weapons. Uh, do you have you don't have another attack as your level three, right? No, I don't. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna use Hunter's Mark right now. Uh, I should have used it before. I'm stupid. But okay. uh, yeah, yeah. on on the man in the back who is closest to the child, yeah. Okay. Either uh, Jiffy or Lube, one of the two. You ignore the you ignore Captain Black when he goes, "What's wrong, love? Too scared to fight a man." You expecting daddy to come hold your hand? I look towards Chip. Uh, uh, at this point, the two guys in the back, one of them who just got shot, is gonna shoot back up at Jay. He fucking misses. Uh, that's a nine. The other one's gonna shoot at, at uh, Chip. Chip, what's your AC? I just rolled a 14. Yeah, that's my okay. AC. Okay, okay, so that hits. My AC Damn. is 14. All right, so you'll take uh, six points of piercing damage. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh lord! I have 11 HP. Uh, yeah, and I'm with fine. that, the other one takes. An, actually, the other one I shot. I forgot. Okay, so yeah. So after that, Chip, it is your turn. <clears throat> um, what are you doing? You see in front of you, uh, Jay is sort of parrying off the Captain Blackbeard in this den here, uh, as the other two behind him are shooting at both you and Jay. One of them was trying to get close to the girl who's tied up on the floor, sort of in the middle of this chamber. But uh, he was kind of knocked back by Jizero. What's your plan, boy? Oh, uh, okay, okay. This is not going very well for us, Jay. What's the plan, Captain? Um, I don't know. I'm getting pretty tired. Uh, I hope I hope this isn't lights out, though. I wink. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> um, and I want to uh, get over to the girl. Right, uh, mm -hmm. and I do. I, do I have that? my fancy footwork? I don't, I don't know. even know if I have my fancy footwork. You're not in melee range with anyone right now. I do have my fancy footwork, but I can. Um, would I be going into range of anybody? Um, One of the uh, rangers, yes. With yeah. So I want to make an attack on him so I can use my fancy footwork to get around him. Uh, I'm just gonna make an unarmed strike, really, to just kind of tap him on the shoulder on one side and move around the other. Sure. Uh, I, no, I want to give him a wet willy. Okay, roll for Wet Willy. I don't know if Okay, I'm gonna roll for Wet Willy. Uh, as I'm, as I, as I'm moving by Jay, uh, if, her, if her like mouth is open, I just want to like stick it in for a second and get some spit and stick it in the guy's ear. You're the worst. Gross. You're awful. You're awful. <laughs> Where's your head been? Uh, um, let me know. That's roll. a, that's a 16 for Wet Willy. That hits. What's the damage? <laughs> damage. <laughs> psychological. He, it's psychological he takes, damage. He takes three psychic damage from getting wet willied. Okay, he actually falls to one knee and he's like, like, like holding his ear and they, where he got shot. He looks fucking rough, dude. He's like, ah, Captain. <laughs> and I wanna, I'm wet willied. I want to lead the girl out uh, and I want to produce my. Uh, you hear my... Loop scream out? Oh my god, he got him. I want to grab. <laughs> I want to grab my ball bearings, but I don't want to use them yet. I just want to have them in my hand so that Jay can see them. Is it is it possible to move this girl over to the door somehow? Or yes. Lead her to the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to do. You can uh, sort of uh, pick her up. Are you gonna untie her? No. I want to like just kind of okay. try and carry her if I can. Um, okay. Which I don't want to. You have enough strength for this. You're good. Mm, yeah. I want to glance right. at both of the, uh, like, all the lanterns and, and look back at Jay, though, as I'm moving. As you pick up the girl, you notice that, uh, just, again, like I said, more in, like, her teenage years, she's got this, like, white sundress that's been completely dirtied and dusted by all the, like, the ground floor and stuff. Uh, and you move away to the entrance. 
uh, using fancy footwork so you don't have to provoke opportunity attack. And next up is going to be the bandit captain. Is that the end of your turn, right? So, Captain Blackbeard again. He's going to take a strike. Uh, actually, as he sees you take the Goro, he pulls out sort of like these, like almost like two small kunai style daggers and throws both of them towards your direction, ship. 17 hit on the first one. Seven hit on the next one. So you only take four points of piercing damage from one of the daggers that kind of like slices next to your face. It doesn't actually injure uh, who you're carrying, but it does hit you and he goes, no. Uh, so the, the dagger just kind of like, I wanted to streak past my face and kind of like cut my nose a little bit or something like that. And I just it's go, actually the I, cut right across your cheek. Okay. This oh, okay. From. Okay, cool. I like that. Um, cut across my cheek and I let out the most high pitched like yelp. Like, ah! <laughs> it's like, it's more of a high pitch and squeal than the, than the young girl you're carrying, uh -huh. except is Jay. Um, how many lanterns are lighting this place up? There are like, uh, like two chandeliers that are topped with candles. So it's not like electric or anything like that. So it's like copper okay. sort of chandeliers that they have bolted to the, the cavernous, uh, ceilings. You know, with like wooden posts or whatnot to give this. It kind of looks like a mining out shaft in here with like little copper chandeliers. Where are they right now? Like the chandeliers? Well, there's one like right above you. Uh, you and the captain who is in, still in your melee range. Um, mm -hmm. And then there is one uh, just behind where he was sitting, like above that, that seat where he was like kind of sitting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to do a quick back step here and mm -hmm. like try to get out from underneath the chandelier. Um, and I'll take the opportunity attack. Okay. That comes with it. Actually, he won't use it. He won't use it? Okay, then yeah, I backstep a little bit. I grab my bow, and I draw it upwards, and I shoot towards the chandelier and try to knock it down on top of him. Okay, roll to hit. Awesome. Uh, that's a 13. So, 13 hits. Let me Tell me how much damage this does. Hopefully enough. 10. Flip. Okay. So... The one of the since it's just a bunch of chain links, we might be breaking the laws of physics, physics here. But because of the force and the speed, the arrow goes straight through and kind of like breaks one of the chain, uh, one of the sides of the chain links, which unhooks it and has the entire chandelier sort of fall uh, uh, on top of the captain, which uh, will make will not only extinguish the flames, but he's going to roll a deck save that he fails and take some fire damage under his body. That is about seven points of fire damage to uh, Captain Blackbeard. I think it's the first time that he's been hit today. Yes. Um, and he just kind of like uh, immediately loses his cool. He's like, oh, no, oh you bitch. Uh, and, and I'm then... gonna keep, I'm gonna move like back towards the door and like mm -hmm. make sure it's open for Chip to run There's out. There's no door, yeah, it was just like do. kind of an entryway here. An entryway, um, yeah. So next up, one of the uh, guys is going to shoot at uh, UJ. Fucking, that is an 18, so that it. It's... And then the other one is a 15 right at Chip, so that hits as well. Um, Chip, you take three points of damage. Great. Yeah, you take three points of damage. Okay. Oh my god. Like Still I'm... up, Chip? Yeah, I'm up. <laughs> I don't have your sheets. I don't know how bad. I'm up. All right. Um, in that case, after that, it's going to be your turn, Chip. What are you doing? Uh, have I made it through this doorway yet? If not, or this walkway? If not, I will be through. So your um, movement is halved when you're carrying someone? That's fine. So, yeah, um, you can... Now, on this turn, you can make it through the doorway, although you won't make it all the way down the path. Has Jay made it through yet? No. So Jay at the has, door, yeah, but not 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 going through. What what are you trying to do? You're trying to run away? I'd like to I'd like to put ball bearings on the ground in front of this walkway. Have Jay knock out the lights so they're super fucked and they can't get they can't chase us. Okay. Is what I'm trying to do. Okay. You can preemptively lay out the ball bearings? Yeah, I'll do that. Alright. Uh, I believe that's just, just an action. I don't think it's a bonus action. Right? Yeah, it's just not where I'm or me or Jay is standing. Where they yeah. are all standing. Mm -hmm. 
you can just put it right in the uh, uh, the entryway there. I'll, like just lay out a bunch of your ball bearings in this kind of like ten foot square uh, in front of the doorway. Uh, just just in front of Jay's feet as she's standing inside of the doorway. Um, and that's your whole turn. Are you gonna start making your way out? Yeah. You do have to jump like the gap of the trap again and go through all that shit, but it's not too difficult. You'll just have to do a roll at the, I... at the, on your next turn. Yeah, since that's my action, can I just use my bonus action to cut these ropes that are binding her? Because it, like when I have yeah, used yeah, my yeah. movement, he's enough. To, I mean, like you can cut the the cloth that's like kind mm -hmm. of like <laughs> yeah. tying her her mouth closed and the and the and the, the 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 rope that's holding her like legs and her yeah. arms together. So if she could run with me after that, or at oh, least easy enough. Yeah. Okay. She still looks like freaked as well, but she just yelled run and she just starting to go with you. You know, mm -hmm. but you're leading okay. the way. Next up uh, is going to be the bend, Captain. He looks fucking pissed off, and he looks at you, Jay. If you're taking my hostage without paying, you'll just become the new one. See what I can get for a navy girl. <laughs> that is Your a, head chopped off, maybe. That is a 17 uh, strength check. Go ahead and roll a uh, athletics or acrobatics. 22. Oh my god. So you duck out of the way and use this action to try and grapple you. Um, I would say... I mean... Can he trip on the ball bearings as he tries to approach me? Just for he actually <laughs> just rolled a deck save. What's the DC chip? Uh, I think it's just 10, right? DC you rolled is... an 8 is... <laughs> What happens when you fall on ball bearings? Oh, it's a, uh, yeah, it's yeah, a DC 10. Prone. So yeah, he falls, he goes prone right on his ass, he yep. tries to grab you. Oh my god, next up, Jay, it's your turn. <laughs> Dumbass, and I'm gonna use <laughs> my bonus action to transfer my Hunter's Mark to the chandelier so that yes. I can definitely knock it down. Okay. And uh, pop another shot off at it, at the second one. Roll to hit. 21 to hit. Hits. Yes. What did you roll? And that's gonna be plus a d6. It's gonna be nine damage. Nine damage. Okay, so with the Hunter's Mark, you do the same exact thing. You're able to hit it and you strike it, and the chain does break. But for a moment, there's a moment where it just it swings, and it looks like it's about to break. Um, and it just it just takes a few more moments, and then it does finally like snap off and fall <sighs> down uh, onto like this like kind of like wooden uprise where this uh, like seed was and catches that shit on fire. Um, uh, there's like the candles uh, burn out though, and everything goes. Sorry, it doesn't actually like catch on fire. There's small candles, but sorry. Um, the fire like it rages for a second. I don't know how else to describe it. Where it just kind of like looks mm, up yeah. and then goes out because um, they're like very small flames. Uh, and the entire the chamber goes pretty much dark, other than the light that's leaking in from the uh, uh, like way that you guys are running. Mm -hmm. But and I, uh, I, yeah, go ahead. I take my movement and start running out. I jump over <clears> the trap. Okay, so. with your full movement, you're able to. Um, Make it all the way out. I would say you guys don't have to roll for anything to get out of here. Uh, yeah. The other two, however, on their turn are going to roll deck 30 saving throws with disadvantage. Fail. <laughs> and then the next one. Oh, that's pretty good. And fails. Okay, so this yeah. is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You rolled a 17 <laughs> and a 4, bro. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, so you, Jay, Chip, and uh, the, the, the young girl who you guys have just saved start running out and you're trying to guide her through. She does slip at yeah. some points. Uh, uh, and the, the, the poison darts as you run through the room all shoot out once again. I won't say you have to roll for it, but Chip, you do kind of uh, accidentally take another one. Um, uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so, roll a con save. Um, I would say this is... Uh, that's rule one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as so, we're, as we're running, though... Um, Starting to run out. Chip is just kind of laughing. Yeah, we did it! <laughs> yeah, watch out for that. Oh, God. Just, you kinda, just keep running. Just keep running. For the, the teenager. You are poisoned. Uh, um, you don't take damage yet. Um, what, what could we call that one? That was like... Uh, we call it lights out. That's like a that's like a plan. That's like a strategy, right? That's fun. That's fun. I reach down and I grab a rock off the ground, by the way, as we're running through this place. Mm -hmm. Um... And as we're like approaching the entrance again, that's a fun name. I like that name. Yeah. <laughs> or we could call it like making a ham sandwich or like running and then, and making then we're. A ham sandwich? And that doesn't make Why are sense. there three paths right now? There's only one path. Oh god, you poisoned. <laughs> you see, I'm drenched in sweat immediately. 
<laughs> Don't worry, shit. ma'am. You're safe. And I'm like talking to the wall on the other <laughs> side of her. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? Okay. Um, as soon as we see the entranceway and the giant troll that guards it, I'm going to throw another rock. <laughs> like <a headless>. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Roll deception. <laughs> deception check. Come on. 18. 16 plus 2. As, as oh my god, roll out, again. Go, it was a tie roll. Hey, was that a rock? Again. It was a tie roll again. Damn it. It was a tie roll. No. He rolled Natural 20. Yes. God. Oh my god, yeah, there's no way! There's no fucking way! You throw, you pick up this really pretty kind of like colorful rock and you just gotta flick it as soon as you guys exit. He turns for a second, he's like And then you throw the rock, he's And he's like, turns, he's like, Jason, come! Boom! Uh, to the rock and you guys, uh, sorry, heading down the, uh, the, the bluffs back into Kiwi Village. Um, with the, uh, the saved young girl. And, uh, that ends both combat and this little escapade between Chip and Jay. And you watch as, as soon as you get back, um, you know, mostly scot-free. Chip is looking a little woozy. I have He's four pale, HP. Dark skin, yeah. uh, like dark circles under his eyes, cut up, <laughs> bleeding Can on the see? cheek. <laughs> You say as we were running off of that, uh, 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 like out of there, I'm just so insane from being poisoned, and I'm like, and that's how to be a pirate, and I fall off of the mountain, and I like pass out. So Jay has to carry me back. Okay, sure. So you basically on. you walk in slowly back to your village at sunset here with Chip, unconscious, piggyback riding, uh, your back, <laughs> drooling on your neck, uh, and um. The, the, the young girl you saved, her name was uh, Alexia. And um, she's very shook, shaken the whole way. But she just kind of, she stays really close to you, Jay, because she uh, definitely knows you. And you, you would know of her as well. Yeah. You hey, know Alexia, a lot of the people okay. at this village. Your mom's just going to be in the inn, okay? And uh, as soon as you get back, you return um, to the den. Uh, it's getting even more busy as the day goes on. Um, and, uh, as soon as Alexia walks in, her mother just absolutely loses it and rushes to embrace her. And, uh, she looks up at you with, it making me choke up kind of imagining it, but she looks up at you with, uh, tears in her face and the most relief you can see in a person, um, as she just clutches onto her daughter. Your mother is still serving very busy, but she, uh, <laughs> she yells over, hold, <laughs> glad to see you back, JJ. Yeah, a little bit worse for rare, but you should see the other guy. Why? This is the other guy. I point at Chip. Oh, <laughs> He's I've... fucked up. You took the, <laughs> you took the fanboy with you. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> you meet her over by and it was. The, uh, the bar as he's still kind of on your back. You just like let him slump over on a seat. Uh, your mother. Uh, you meet up with your mother, who after serving you guys are kind of like. At the bar together, and she goes, "His uh, his story seems so out there, especially since Dre hasn't <laughs> sent a word or visited in years, a decade." Yeah, but he knew exactly what he looked like. I didn't want to no, believe he... him either, but uh, strange character. He had it down. Um. So listen, Mom, I might have made a little bit of a deal <laughs> when we were uh, doing this little uh, rescue operation. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. She starts cleaning um, things, like, from behind the bar. I... I, I kind of, like, look at her kind of somberly. I think this is my chance to, to go out and, and really figure it out. Uh, I mean, she kind of, like, looks down uh, and, like, breaks eye contact with you. And there's a, a, a fairly long pause. She sort of contemplates her own thoughts. I, I mean, like, it's my duty. I mean, not just as a fairin, but as as a sister. I need to know what happened. And dad's never helped. And I think this is the closest I'll ever get. Uh, she looks up after a moment and smiles. Um, her eyes are a little teary. But there's a hint underneath where she 
is is putting up, you know, a little bit of this sort of motherly front, and she says, I've never been one to tell you how to live your life. You can leave the nest whenever you're ready. After, like, a moment of silence, Jay would just, like, swiftly walk up to her mother and give her a hug. You be safe, okay? I don't want any more bad news. <laughs> there won't be any bad news. You know I can take care of myself. <laughs> Anyways, I had to... Do you need any help around here tonight? I mean, no. this guy's got to no. sleep <laughs> off whatever the hell he's got going on. <laughs> and then, I'm, then get this. His, his boat's called the Big Chipper. You see it out there? It's a little... It's the dingy little boat out there at the dock. <laughs> she uh, pulls you in and, like, grabs the back of your head for, like, this really tight and long hug. Whatever you decide to do, I will be very proud of you. Come home when you figure it out. Thank you, Mom. I love you. I love you. And I'm a, I'm a little beat up, so I'm gonna head up. Your um, mother just sort of like uh, brushes your your shoulders, uh, you know, the coat that you wear, and uh, fixes your hair and nods and sort of like composes herself and then goes immediately back to work as uh, the little bluebird that was sort of flying around on her shoulder um, and pecking at Chip lands on Chip's head once again and starts pecking on the back of his skull <laughs> um, and with that I think that Chip would sleep it off here at the bar as you sleep for the night in your own room for <laughs> what would be a final time and the next following day to be awakened unpoisoned and well rested feel a lot better your wounds have started to heal <laughs> and you are awoken to a, you, you're a busy bar once again you've been sleeping there the whole night and uh, exiting the eagles then you see Jay uh, packed up and already waiting. Hey, uh, JJ. How did I... Uh, we doing this? <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> yes! Okay, so first thing about the ship is don't touch my stuff. And make sure that when you go to clean the deck, you swab from left to right because that's really important. I need you to understand left... <laughs> uh, and you Jay just kind of shakes her head as she falls chip out yeah this rambunctious way in over his head wannabe pirate boy to his small uh, ship named the big chipper and together you guys set out to sea uh, only then later within a, a week or so to be out on the ocean together and stumble upon the head of a bluefish man. And that is where <laughs> we end the session as the three of you start the story. God damn it, we're <laughs> over. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, what a cool thing that we just By did. By the way, as they're, as they're walking back to the ship, Jay turns around to the camera and her face has a stark seriousness. <laughs> <laughs> I also mention as you guys dock up and sail away, Chip, um, just as your memory stated before, you can see Jay's mother at the entryway to her bar uh, just looking out as you guys sail away and, and doing like a small wave. Um... And that is actually where we end. So that's wow. cool. I mean, that's uh, that was that was a fun that was a fun. Yeah, what did you guys think? I I had fun. I loved regressing. <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> I have to be like civil and shit now, and like I can't lie to the fish man. But right now, I don't know the fish man, so I can lie to everyone, <laughs> <laughs> and it feels fucking good. The bastard is born, baby. 
<laughs> I loved you calling me whatever you called me. It was so fucking funny. An asshole? What did I call you? You called me an asshole and you're like, no, that's not right. That made that's me laugh not right. so much. Yeah. yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was good. I don't think we'll have it just rolled for this one. Yeah. So get your thoughts fair. out. Um, um, I had fucking fun. I, I just had awesome. fun, man. That was, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed just like fleshing out the actual start of the dynamic layer. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Immediately, like friends, but like it was immediate sibling. I hate you relationship. <laughs> <laughs> As it should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't really know it how it was gonna out. go, but that was kind of the fun of it. I wanted it to be like, mm -hmm. you know, how would these two? I wasn't. Sh <laughs> I wasn't sure how we were gonna get out of the combat. To be fair. <laughs> no, I didn't. I every plan I had didn't work, which is just so on brand. <laughs> that is completely on brand, especially yeah. for this era of chip. And that I that's why I've never used my inspiration. I don't have it. It's gone. I used it here. And it didn't work anyway. <laughs> way back. You got inspiration from the future that you used in the past. And it sucked. The future's the future is bleak. <laughs> that is the lesson to be learned today. I think it's interesting, uh and, and kudos to you guys for being able to go back in time with your characters. It's cool to imagine this situation where you guys meet, you know, right before mm -hmm. Gillian, mm -hmm. uh, since you guys met first, and pretty much, I mean, like from meeting Gillian, you guys arrive at zero. So, like, that's yeah. your first mm -hmm. time. That's like the first anyways. thing we did with yeah. Gillian. Yeah, um, we blow up that. Fucking you, you pretty much in my in my imagination, or at least the story, you take his hand, bring him onto the ship. He's very confused. You start teaching him stuff. Um, let me blow up a navy tower. <laughs> He's also yeah. very intense, but he goes along with it and uh, starts to, to, you know, trust in you guys and believe in you. And then you go and blow up a navy tower and it's fucking awesome. Uh, you just tell him it's evil. So that's pretty much how the uh, the show started. It's cool, man. Maybe one mm -hmm. day if we uh, hit a certain goal on Patreon, we can have a original Hey, right, don't make any promises. Don't make any promises. Don't make any promises. <laughs> no promises. We're still working on new goals. Those. We're still working on new no, goals. Bro, There's no promises, but that. I got some stuff in the works. If you have any ideas for goals that are reasonable and doable, and we can figure out how to do them before they, we set them so we don't set unreasonable goals, let us know in a comment <laughs> down below. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this little special one shot we did while Charlie is sick. Um, yeah. Bye. 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 See you. That's it. Bye. Goodbye. Yo, 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 what up, guys? Let's do some quick Patreon shout-outs here. I hope you enjoyed the special one-shot episode, and I'm sorry that I can't do nothing too crazy for this one. I'm sort of in between jobs right now. I was a janitor last week. This week, I'm thinking about being a Lego designer, but you know what it is. Anyways, I'm a very busy man, so I don't have all fucking day, okay? So I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm going to tell you thank you, and then I'm going to go about my... A very important lifestyle of eating Oikos triple zero yogurt and slinging trash bags into the back of a car while I come up with my Lego designs. All right, posers, let's fucking get it. All right, bros. First things first, Noah Gonzalez, my dude, what's going on? Fly guy, dude, what's chilling, bro? Don't be a shy guy, though. Yo, hit me up. Amber Curry, yo, dude, how's it fucking going, bro? Like, you want to go hit up in the in the, in the the frat later, yo? Dude, what's up, Robert Gangware, bro? What's up, dude? Oh, my God. You got, like, the you got the gang in your name, bro. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. All right, Man Made LMP, bro. That's crazy, bro. Blue Star 418. Oh, shit. You just turned 418, bro. That's crazy. You old, bro. All right, yo. Your personal gesture. Tell me a joke, bro. Ha. Ha. All right, yo. Jordan Darling. How you doing, Jordan Darling? Uh, Abby, Katie, and Elliot, yo, what's up, triple, triple threat, oh, dude, triple threat, yo, 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 red sus over paradise, sleepy with your salmon ducky, oh, getting fucky wuggy salmon ducky, that's what's up, bro, that's what's up, alright, dude, alright, dude, Sahira Lester, dude, like, what's up, dude, uh, Mr. Nacho, <laughs> Nacho Cheese, <laughs> I could be your own personal gesture with that one, dude. Uh, Wild James, what's up, bro? Wild Andy, you fucking wild Andy. Oh, shit. Talking mushrooms, bro. Uh, Rike, what's up? Sammy Bout the Second, Kev Senpai, bro. 
Senpai, bro? That's crazy, bro. You like watch anime and shit? And the letter seven, bro? I'm like, Finrua, dude? Uh, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417. What's going on, broskies? Uh, Juzambo? What a cool name, bro. <laughs> Juzambo. And we're like, Gurillion Fraud Strider, dude? That's crazy, bro. Uh, <laughs> Boss Goat? <laughs> uh, Riser Sin? Uh, shit, Artemis loves you, dude. That's crazy, bro. But I'm like spoken for and shit. My wifey loves me very much, bro. So just kind of take a few fucking steps back, why don't you? All right, uh, definitely not a turtle. Doubt it. But whatever, dude. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever shocks your shell, if you know what I'm saying, bro. Derpy Tricks, bro. What's up? I haven't seen you in a while, bro. Geeky legend, you know, or geekly legend, my bad, G. Uh, nothing wrong with being a geek, bro, but come and hang out in the locker room sometime. We do towel whips every fucking day, bro. It's not geekly, and it's definitely... Everett Stroker, I mean Stoker, sorry, was thinking about the locker room and said Stroker again. What's up, bro? Crow Beans, what up, dog? All right, yo, what's up? Oh, man, I can't say. Yo, Brad, bro, I don't know if you want to shout out or not, but you got the wrong tier picked out. Guys, if you want a shout out and you're paying us $50 or more, make sure to select your Patreon tier to be the high roller ones, bros. All right, dudes. Uh, Zero Codex, what's happening? Ned Vin, what's going on? Deathclaw! Oh, yo, it's good, bro. So you and my nightmares, dog. That's crazy. Rice Rosatu, dude. Oh, it's crazy, dude. I love rice. Uh, I mean, race. That's your name, bro. Oh, God. Um, Scrab, bro. What's good? Sandy007? Shit, you're gonna dead eye me or something? Bin Mahdi. What's going on? Winterish, winterish Miss, bro. Shit, that's poetic as hell, bro. That's poetic as hell, bro. Oh my god, I just lost my breath. You took my breath away, bro. William Smith? Damn. Apple! No, 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 I just did a shrum for you. Princess Vegeta? Oh, shit, I love that, bitchin'. Sola of Apep? Damn, bro, you're just a ghost now? Crazy. Cheshire, my G, yo, what's good? Big man Christian, blue bland blop over here blopping and shit, dude. That's crazy. At least the washed up bard, bro. You gotta get back out there, man. You can't just be like always washed up, you know? You gotta brush it off, take a shower, get naked, hop in a steaming hot hot tub with a bunch of babes, bro, and then get back out there. You're a bard now. Bowling ball iron, bro, that's gotta hurt. It's gotta really hurt, dude. Cerberus, what's up, G? Bits of small. Elvish cyborg? What, do you like speak elvish and robot at the same time, dog? That's crazy. Yo, Neko Lord! Oh, shit, you're like the Lord of the Cats, bro. I Don't ask me how I know what Neko means in Japanese, dog. I'm not a fucking weeb, okay? Hop off my case. Yo, Alyssa, bitchin'. Dream Strider, what's going on? Obligatory references. Been here for a while, bro. Thanks for giving us your money. All right, yo, re and score in 3D. What's good, G? Oh, man, you don't have the right tier anyways. Hope you don't mind that I'm shouting you out, though. Chrysona Sin? What's going on, bro? Last name kind of close to what the Bible says not to do. But that's all right. It's spelled different because you're built different. Let's go. Lord Ticklefish. Oh, my God, dude. I want to be tickled. Spinyax in the locker room. Yeah, tickled in the locker room and then Spinyax. Buttery Toast, dude. What's up, bro? Raytheon, what's going on? Uh, missile, miss Deladius, Missiladius. You know, I don't really read big words often. Sorry if I fucked it up, dude. But uh, Spoogaloo, man, what's going on? J Martinet, Martinet, Martinez, dude, my bad, G. I really like your email, by the way. I'm not gonna dox you, but I like it a lot, dude. Kirby Wafro, what's going on? Oh my god, that means Kirby with an Afro, bro. Oh, that goes hard, bro. That goes so fucking hard, dude. Oh man, Serene is an actually a. Dude, Serene's a skeleton, bro. It's crazy. Bionicle D&D, what's going on? Material seaweed, how's it happening? How's it hanging? Yo, Talon Claw, what's the raw, bro? You going in raw, bro? 
Zachary Comstock, what's going on? Ango, only Senpai? Bro, you gotta hit up with my other G with Senpai in their name. Shit, cause you guys gonna have to fight it out in like a death match or something if you're only the only Senpai. Gillian's biggest fan? Oh, radical dude, it's your fucking destiny! The godly king, what's going on? Brad's kiwi cake? That's depressing. Tristan Linswinson? That's such a cool name because it kind of rhymes together. Let's go, Doc. Corner your comment, bro. So much money, dude. What are you made out of? Like green paper? You're crazy. Anybody need a sugar daddy? Hit up corner your comment. Are right, yo, Jumpy is Venus 34. What's going on? You're in B Pal Val. What's happening? Drop shockers. Drop until you just don't stop, bro. Charm of the Bard, you gotta help out my G Washout Bard from before because they're really struggling with their craft, bro. Persisted crib, bro. Hit me up. I'm trying to hit up a new crib as well, bro. So just let me in if you get a chance. Raigu Kurotu, what's going on? Kitsune, that means fox in Japanese, but I don't watch that fucking weeb shit. Nonsalato, what's happening? Hysteria Nick! What's going on? George Benji, Mountain's Thunder Thighs. I hate that. Xcent, what's up, bro? Salutation, Hyper Retron, Cairo, JRWI Enjoyer, Divinator, and last but not least, bros, J Noel. Alright, dudes. Catch you later. I just punched myself in the forehead. <laughs>